Welcome back to the design of the mobile modular room robot M2R2. In the previous video we have added the microcontroller and talked about the power and control needed to make the M2R2 move. As before you can find the model of the robot that we built so far on my GrabCAD account. Link is in the description. If you haven't watched the previous video I encourage you to do so. This video is about power electronics and about power distribution. We will choose the batteries needed to charge the M2R2 and we will talk about the current and the voltage that we are getting from them. Next we'll add a DC to DC converter to stabilize the motor's voltage input even though the drivers can have an input from 8 to 45 volts and we can easily charge them directly from the battery. Here we will use a stable 12 volt to have a more predictable movement control. Let's start now with the batteries. Let's start with 4 AAA batteries. AAA batteries commonly have a voltage of 1.5 volts so 4 of them will give us 6 volt, which is not really enough but I will show you here that it, this can work. It's not enough because the voltage regulated inside the nano requires a minimum of 7 volts. I use 4 AAA batteries instead of 5 because the most common battery holders are 4-4 and I had a couple of them lying around. So we will use this to charge the microcontroller. We can then use the nano to output 5 volt logic voltage to the drivers and we also have to make sure that each PCB has a common ground. The position of the battery pack is determined in the first video and you can see it now on the screen. For the main battery we will use a lithium polymer battery used in RC toys and we know that we need at least 12 volts. While the previously mentioned AAA alkaline battery has 1.5 volts, a lithium polymer battery has a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts. The batteries are packaged with different numbers of cells. So as 2S battery means that there are two cells inside with the total nominal voltage of 7.4 volts. 3S has 11.1 volts, 4S has a 14.8 volts, 5S has a 18.5 volts and 6S has a 22.2 volts. We can see from the choices here that we need at least a 4S battery. For the M2R2 I have chosen the 5S battery so that we could later increase the voltage going to the motors and with it the speed as well. The bracket that I have designed is made for a 5S battery with the dimensions of 106 times 42 times 34 millimeters. If you decide to build the M2R2 you can use a different battery you just need to redesign the bracket a little bit. Ok, now for the reason why I have chosen to have two batteries here instead of just the one. If we would have only one battery we would need to have two different converters and also a power distribution board. We would also have to have a way to separate the logic voltage from the possible back EMF. A large spike of electricity that easily kills the logic components. Let's say that the main reason here for us is to keep it a bit more simple for now. Now I would like to have a steady voltage of a specific value with which we are going to power the motors of the robot. This is so that our robot does not go faster with the fully charged battery and slower as the battery slowly empties. I would like to have a steady speed and for that I need to have a DC-DC converter. It's very easy to find a converter for the voltage that we need, but the biggest problem are the amps. We said earlier that the maximum amps our drivers are able to carry is 2.2 amps per driver. So we need a converter for around 8 amps. I was able to find a converter that meets these requirements. A DC to DC back converter 8 amps XL4016E1. It's a step down converter which lowers the input voltage 4 to 40 volts to 1.25 until 36 volts and is able to have 8 amps running through it steadily. If you would search on the internet for it you would easily find it but it's very likely that the design of it changed since I got it which should not matter because it, it will function the same. For simplicity reasons I have decided not to protect it with the 8 amp fuse but later I will probably put it on the robot. With the 5S and 18.5 nominal voltage we can now easily have 12 volt minimum for our steppers. And we can later increase that voltage and see how the speed of the robot changes. Now we finally have all the electronics needed to start the robot but we need to connect everything together. So let's put together a diagram showing what we need to connect. 
Here you can see all the devices that we have so far. This is our M2R2 robot base without body components. First we will connect the steppers with the drivers. We have four wires coming out of the steppers and we are connecting them to B2, B1, A1 and A2 on the drivers. We can try and place a red wire on the B2 to keep the same orientation for each of the connectors. Second, we will connect the batteries to their voltage regulators. AAA batteries are connected with the Nano. We are using the GND and VIN pins here. 5S lithium polymer we are connecting with the DC-DC converter on the plus in and minus in screw terminals. Now we can connect the DC-DC output with the drivers. Each driver should be connected on the VMOT and GND pin next to it, as shown here on the diagram. Next we are connecting the Nano's 5V output to the reset and sleep pins on the drivers. Also we are connecting every PCB to a common ground. Lastly we need to connect the step and dear pins with the digital pins available on the Nano. Here you can see that I have used the pins from D2 to D9. It doesn't matter which pin is connected where. It only matters that you remember which pins you used because when we connect everything with wires on the robot, it will be a little bit messy. Now let's see how it looks like on the robot and how long the wires should be. As seen previously on the diagram, first we will connect the motors with the drivers. Here you can see what it looks like from the bottom. The pins on the driver are B2, B1, A1 and A2. Now let's see the front of the robot. Here you can see how to route the wires. They are going between the middle piece and the top plate that's holding the motor drivers. This way we will route all the wires towards the drivers. Next we will connect the batteries with the voltage regulators. First, 5S battery is connected with an additional cable because of the battery connector. I don't want to cut the connector of the battery and connect the wires directly in the screw terminals. So we have to make additional cable that you can see here on the screen. AAA battery brackets that I got have only loose wires, so I placed the Dupont connector on them which I have connected with the VIN and GND pins on the Arduino. Now let's see this from the top and start to route the rest of the wires. First, let's route the output of the DC-DC converter to all four drivers. This includes the positive voltage and the ground. This now looks something like this. I will show you how I created this cable in the assembly video. Second, we are going to route the 5 volt output and the ground from the Nano to charge the logic circuits of the drivers. From the diagram you can see that we are connecting the sleep and the reset with the 5 volt output and the ground with the GND pin. And lastly we are connecting two digital pins to each driver. Here I have decided to create two cables for this, each with four wires. Now this is the robot base of the M2R2. We have everything that we need to make it run, we just have to put it all together. Here you can see the front view of the robot, the top view as well. Let me make this translucent so we can have a look at everything at once. We are done with the electronics and the design. In the next video I will assemble the robot as shown here in the CAD. After that we can finally start with the programming. If you like the video please give it a like and if you would like to see further development of the M2R2 please subscribe. I would like to hear your opinion so please share any comments on the state of the M2R2 so far. I will try to introduce your suggestions in the next build or maybe later in this build. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.